Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. How are you all doing today? That's really wonderful. I am Kalimullah. I am a Fadil. I have done Fadilat from Darul Ulum Nadbatul Ulama Laknaw. Presently, I am pursuing personality development class at Madrasa Baitul Ulum Sindagi in Karnataka. Where I learn spoken Arabic, spoken English, and computer. I would like to thank Mother Sabaitul Ulum and Sunnah English Medium School for giving me a chance to enhance my communication skills. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, my respected teacher and my trainer, and my dear friends. Today my topic is about the time. In the first I recite the one ayah from the Holy Quran, which tells us about the importance of the time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us some points of real success in his the last book by the time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim, wal-asr, إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. By the time, verily men in loss, but not those who believe and work righteous deeds and enjoin upon each other the truth and enjoin upon each other steadfastness. My dear friends. We all know that time is the most precious thing on the face of earth. And there is nothing more valuable than the time. Nothing, not his diamonds, not his coal, not his building, not his power, not his money, not his wealth. And we cannot compare time to any of these things. Because these things, if these things are wasted or spent, it can be recovered and we can get it by the time but if we time if we waste time once it cannot be recovered and we cannot buy some time by any other things so we should store our time and use it in really things my dear brothers it is the fact about the time if we waste time then time will destroy us and spoil our lives. If we, if we want to learn value of the time, we should see the who, we, we, should, we should see the person who, who booked train ticket or plane ticket. How does he reach to platform or airport at the time? And how does he count hours, minutes and seconds? And how does he become worried about his ticket? Why does he do it? Because he knows well, if he delays few minutes, but sometime only few seconds, he, he misses his flight or his train. So, he becomes ready perfectly on the time. Like this, everyone must do his work on the time. Because if his time, if his time goes once, it never comes back. Especially we as a Muslim, we should save our time and use it correctly than others because we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask all human beings in the day of judgment for questions. Among them, the first question is about age and the time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask, <coughs> how did you spend your age and where did your life days and times pass? Then, if we spend our time in good works and write in right yes deeds, so we can we can pass in that exam. We can we can save ourselves from torment of Allah. Otherwise, we can fail that exam, and we shall have too many dangerous problems. So, in 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 the last, I ask to my God that he azawajal help us to spend our time in useful places i conclude my speech thanking you all for listening to me patiently thank you so much and have a nice day